Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man Maker. In this pre-recorded episode, I'll be covering a combination of both various mid-levels and other levels I found online, primarily focusing on the former. So first on today's lineup is Donkey Kong 94 Forest by Oscar, with 32 plays and a score of 16. As I'm currently on vacation, this episode is pre-recorded, so no live chat to decide. Anyways, if you want your levels to be featured in these episodes, please leave the level IDs either on YouTube, Twitter, Mastodon, or on the Discord server. Ow. Well, this was certainly worth it for the M tank. Left or right? I pick left. Right it is then. Hey Donkey Kong. Bye DK.
Whoa. I'm gonna eat the head. Compared with the previous version Oscar sent to me last year, this feels a lot more enjoyable. Hmm, either side. Compared with, the ver compared with the version I played last year, also by Oscarm, this feels a lot better. It's the odd couple again. Decent work, Oscarm. You're taking better advantage of the Maker assets. Second up is World Tree Extra Level Buddy Firefly by La Patio with 69 plays and a score of 23. Going to be good old rock for this. Got me. That left pit was a trick. Ugh, I got grabbed. Worked a lot better this time.
And here I thought there was a pit to the left. Perhaps base would have been the better option. It's a good thing I have this flame drawer. It's coming in handy everywhere. If you fall behind, you have to rely completely on this. Full restock of this. I spy spikes on both sides. That's what I was afraid about. Ha! Huh, we did it. Exactly where I'd place the checkpoints too, as well as full refills. They weren't kidding when they said this was a more difficult bonus stage. I should have used the flame drawer there. Scarier than it looks, and it died a few times before here too. I'm gonna play it really safe in case there's a bed of spikes. And this screen by far is the toughest part of this section, because low-lying spikes near conveyors. Another series of deaths later. I 
hope this was the right option. Good checkpoint. Too high. I fell behind. And if the orb of light goes off screen, it despawns. This is something I wish that could be changed in the editor. Ah, we made it. And this marks the end of the bonus stage. Difficult but enjoyable stage. Hardest part is keeping up with orbs of light, especially during the last section. Number 3 up is Special Stage, Army of Appliances by TS Yoshi369 with 16 plays and a score of 3. It's base's time to shine. Another darkness pat. Get me out. I wish there was a quicker way to dispatch the Gories, as by default, they are some of the most durable enemies in this engine, and are not trivial to ignore. I love the wave burner. Ah, didn't quite react fast enough. I was betting on the spikes being on the left side. I thought the spikes would be on the left side of the wall. Let me in.
Ice Wall wins yet again. <laughs> I knew I was gonna perish there. I wanted to fall in a funny way. Thank you for cooperating, Gory. Suddenly, moles coming to grieve their loss. Oh, ow. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. I forgot I didn't despawn it. I do like the Venus Waterfalls here. Two routes... Actually, no. I just used up one. Gotta replenish my lost one. For anyone wondering, this is the bonus stage at the end of the level pack Army of Appliances. I really, really wish there was a way you could nerf the Gory's HP. Especially for characters like Base, if you don't use special weapons. This is why I'll simply tank the hit.
the ice wall, however, it bodies them handily. Thank you for making my life actually a bit easier. Plenty of E&M tanks. It is more difficult than pretty much every stage in this level pack. Of course, you're immune to ice. But pretty weak to fire. Oh, how I long for a Yashishi spawner. Tell me one, Boo Beam. There's more coming in the near future. I gotta hand it to you, level designer. This is a cool arena. See you again. Ah, that was a terrible idea. I'm guessing their actual weakness is something like the spear. I thought so. Originally it was top spin. So, <laughs> who's up next? It's the Wily Machine, of course. But because I can aim upwards, it's transformed into a joke.
Any tell anything else up your sleeves, Wily? Yep. It'd be a lot funnier if he was actually weak to the wall. Beautiful. What's left? Quick, man. Are you going to be weak to ice? Yep. As it does slow him down. Okay, whoa. Close shave. And we win. Thank you for saying the set of levels to me, T.S. Yoshi. Really appreciate it. This was one of the better levels in this series. Fourth up is Mega Man Plus Remix Samus Woman Stage by Fire Sawdust with 19 plays and a score of 5. Star? After obtaining the Morph Ball and activating everything, although it's more dangerous this time as that's now a death pit. Functionally, we have the high jump now. Oh, how I also long for damage spikes in this engine. this place? Forgive me for not knowing the names. It's been quite a while since I last played a Metroid game. Oops. I gotta eventually play Metroid 2 on the channel. Followed by Super, Fusion, Zero Mission, AM2R, and Hyper. And perhaps the Prime games too.
Now we're gonna find Mother Brain, I suppose. The tally standing in for the Rinkos. Oh wait, they're finding me one on one now. Is he standing in for Ridley? Simple, straightforward, and rather rompy. I did like the look of the second area. Fifth up is One Hit Screen Challenge Metal by Jinox74 with 33 plays and a score of 13. It's time to play the blues. One HP, no health drops, and a checkpoint at the start of every screen. Hey, these aren't metals. The title lied to me. Fair. Little Firemats Adventure. Sorry. Skinning didn't help. I like this one screen challenge. High risk, high reward. Especially as Proto. Fairly neat stage, Jedoc. In fact, let's do the Joe's version as well. Didn't have to wait. But you know me.
doing this as well makes this a lot more straightforward. It's the ones that throw grenades or bones at me which are the biggest risk. Well, there goes my perfect run. Proto and Roll have the easiest time through these. I suppose Space would have the toughest times here, seeing as he doesn't have a charge shot or shield piercing. That was my bad. And we got it. Another fun stage, less risky than the Matar one. Seventh up is Coral Coast by Wycon with 77 plays and a score of 47. Already starting out strong in the visuals department. The coral structures down here are pretty. Nice use of the tile sets. Not worth the risk. This whole stage looks very visually appealing. Now if only the background was animated. Oh, we're getting pushed forward. This is a great way to fake movement, showing the submarine actually moving in the opposite direction, showing us boarding the submarine. This was a cool set piece. And now we're blowing up the entire place. Even the water rises back up. We can even see the sunk ship in the background. Yes, I know it's not the exact same ship, but I know what they were going for. Even though this stage is very straightforward in terms of level design, it wins out in terms of aesthetics, graphics, and the set pieces. A-Dub is Mega Man vs. the Anti-Yashishi Smugglers by Known Master 
with 23 plays and a score of 2. Off we go. Is this going to be Aunt Daddy's stage? This seems like his sort of thing. Ah, no pit attacker. Must be hauling illicit goods. What's up here? Right then. Of course it'd be them. I wish they could have their own individual weaknesses. All for an M-Tank. Worth it, I suppose. Which I'll meet the use here. Perfect. A bit clumsy, but it worked out in the end. And yes, I could have used a checkpoint there, but I didn't want to waste the seconds. Didn't want to get blasted by that wall blaster. Already learned that lesson the hard way. Another dark man. <laughs> I didn't realize the barriers are not locked onto him. It turns this fight into a joke. But it's under a time limit, so I guess it bounces out.
Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought these would instigate me. Now I get what the title was saying. When they said anti Ishishi, I thought they meant they were stealing the Ishishis. Unfortunately, these also drain away all my weapon energy. Ah, uh, this football dispensing enemy. I thought Aunt Eddie was there. If only I can serve the M tank. For what it's worth, I think this was an okay stage. It was basically forcing us to perfect run it. I wonder. I can't really shoot those enemies because they're out of range. This is the easy way of doing this. I thought I have no pickups. Ah, so there are two sides of this. Oh, that's unfair. Come on. I mean, it's fairly obvious here. And time for part 3, the head. It reminds me of that one boss from Mega Man 9. In fact, I'd say this is the best part of the stage. Although, this is the easiest part of the battle. As you stand right over here, there's little chance they'll hit you. I get the idea of the stage, forcing us to Buster only perfect run it, but it really wasn't that interesting. The best part was the fourth response at the end, the Mega Shark. And yet the stage still goes on.
frankly, the Mega Shark would have been a good stopping point for the stage. I suppose this works too, but by this point, it feels like the stage kind of overstates welcome. This was mostly an eh stage for me. Not good, not bad. Ninth up is It Literally Just Blew by Soda Gaming with 22 plays and a score of 2. Every weapon here is blue, says the flash bomb, but the iron we gained it from is blue anyways, so it fits in that way. Whoa. Well, I fumbled this encounter. Well, this stage was certainly blue. Tent up is Crater Cavern by Ramey Buddy Boy with 40 plays and a score of 8. I was informed that this is a very straightforward level. Let's see how right they are. Into the cavern we go. Don't mind me, Nest. Ow. I don't want to hug you, Smatran. Nor deal with you two. Sorry, doggy. You have to go. We'll cool off from the heat here. And we're at the end. They were right. A very straightforward path from A to B. Bingo. 
Eleven Dub is Donkey Kong 94 Ship by Oscarm with 26 plays and a score of 14. All aboard! All for an extra life pickup. Hopefully one of these ends up being a tank. Hold up. There we have it. For a moment there, I was worried it got soft locked. As a reminder, the dodge roll resets your iframes. By this point, it's not a bug, it's an intended feature. Ow. Hey, DK. Let's do this easy way. It also makes the dodge roll more unwieldy to use. If you're not careful, you can get hit twice in a row.
Not worth the detour. We're gonna fight the duo again. I was trying my best not to spawn her in. See what I mean about getting multi-hit? Anyways, I like this more than the previous city and jungle stages. Twelfth up is MM Plus Remix Me Man Stage by Fire Sawdust with 19 plays and a score of 5. Starting off immediately with 4 tanks. Almost certainly not necessary. At most, we probably need 2. What's with the acid party going here? That was on me. Three choices. Let's go from right to left. Alright then, Axie. You do you. Those were all me teams, weren't they? Thank you, Gory. Three more choices. I'll take the middle one this time. The last Yoko probably didn't spawn in. Yep. I echo my suggestion that there should be an option for Yoko blocks to be able to spawn off screen. Uh. Is this Wii Resort now? We're playing shoot the targets. <laughs> 
Once again, ow. This may pose a problem. I appreciate how it has some mini branching paths before converging back into the main route. If it focused more heavily on this, this would have been a more interesting stage. 13th up is Seek Chase but Mega Man by Amgil with 84 plays and a score of 34. No music, no weapons, just run. And that's it. Sure then. And here I thought this is merely the start of the stage. 14th up is Secret Laboratory by Astroman with 97 plays and a score of 41. Easy E. Don't mind me, Stompers. mid -boss time. Can't wait to try out the railed versions. Welp, that completely cleaved through them. Welp, that completely crushed them. Worth it. Now these E-Tanks, they're closer to being freebies, the ones I typically kind of complain about, but you know my stance on them already, so I won't repeat it here. And use your Devil Mach 1.
another fairly straightforward stage. Not as straightforward as a few of the other stages recently, but it's noticeable. Switching over to the Game Boy mod. So the 15th and final level of this episode is Mega Man Derp Poker Man by your local vacuum with 11 plays and a score of 0. I finished all the other levels in this series, so I'll be grabbing all these weapons. I can sneak past. I love the grab buster. One of my favorite utility slash damage weapons. Everything comes together. Ah, uh, this is going to be a painful jump. Almost. Ah, at last! This was going to be my third level of the episode, but this one spot completely destroyed my fun. It's such a difficulty spy compared to everything else that came up to this point. Please either raise the ceiling or slow down the cogs. The one act of mercy the stage has is having a checkpoint just a few screens away. I was going to say that this felt like one of the easiest stages of Mega Man Derp, then this came along.
Ah, uh, sorry, vacuum. So overall, of the 15 levels I covered in today's episode, my favorite one would be World Tree, Extra Level, Buddy Firefly, by La Patio, with an honorable mention going to Coral Coast by Wycon. Good job you two, and thank you to everyone else who submitted your levels to me. It's really appreciated. With all that said and done, it is time for the art showcase. Beginning with a piece from Jaden. Earthman but better. They certainly look more detailed. I like it. Drawing Catalina in an evening gown. From Alrich, since Deltarune Chapter 3 is a ting, here are some enemy doodles. Nice. Some Pizza Taro seeds they made. Can't wait for the Pizza Tower fan games to come out. No, they're fine. No rules violated. Look at that six pack. Proportions are a little bit off, however. Like the head seems a bit too big. I don't know. Wily Machine, 384,389. The Weaker Wheel of Dead, OG Revolution. Bonus. Wily Machine Hyperball, Pre Final Boss. MS Paint Garbage. I need to eventually play Hyperball. The proportions are better here, but the head seems a bit too big. After listening to the Wily Wars cover of Tears of Glue, they decided to make a Wily Wars style stay select screen for Mega Man Unlimited, and it looks pretty neat. Anyone here for some poker? Managed to draw Victoria on the first try. Proportions look a lot better here. From top to bottom, Hilda, Irma, and Catalina. In different poses too. More artists blued from Unknown Spy. Peach and Daisy cosplaying as the Mario Brothers. Dr. Neil A. Ramir, Pizza Tower style. They could totally fit as an alien boss there. From top to bottom, Paula, Nadia, and Sirius. The latter of which hails from Azura Lane. Rockman Robotic Madness 2, yet again. Why I decided to take over the world, but this time with the variant of evil energy. Bodonoki Woman, Club Man, Pacer Woman, Blaze Man, Sewing Woman, and Network Man. First day learning one point perspective using simple backgrounds. I just wish the lighting when taking the picture was better. From left to right, Arma Wellington and Fabiola Leonhardt. Another Pokey Fusion. Green Lock Zone is a personal take on the Salad Plane Zone, aka the early version of Palm Tree Panic from Sonic CD. Oh, poor Wally. Storm Man, but he's an actual RM and no longer a Twinkie. He was already an RM in my eyes. I forget their name. Beyond Dragon Man, so he doesn't feel like a Skull Man edit. By Rose Da Awu. Who are these two people? I don't recognize them. Just Need a Friend. By Carl Stelmu. Ah, how adorable. From left to right, Veronica Watson and Sarah. Veronica looks fine. Sarah's proportions look a bit off. Metal Overlord vs. Rayquaza by Toa Anton. Jeez, this looks like a brutal encounter. Kingaris, Chainsaw Lizard. Rest in peace, Nintendo 3DS eShop. Revolution, Y Castle Stage 1, down in the style of the sequel wars.
Neatly done. Monster Girl adopts by Allrich. Feel free to claim. Just reply with a number. We've seen these girls before. During previous streams. Mott Girl looks pretty cute. Redo of Revel Remixes box art. And we'll be waiting. Here is what it actually looked like. Ah, adorable Lumidi art. Turning the spark characters into humans. Snowdrift, Pyrite, Clef, Colin, and Fate. For their special, they use a cannon. Getting better at this perspective. Progress report on the updated box art. Looking good. By forks or spoons, two gal pals together. And with that, this marks the end of the art showcase, and subsequently, this episode. Thank you to everyone who submitted levels, submitted art, or just participated in the premiere chat. It's due to your continued support why I continue to produce new content for the channel. It's really appreciated. So, if you're enjoying this or any other piece of content on the channel, please rate, comment, favorite, and or subscribe as they all help it out. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Mastodon as well, and join my Discord server, as I regularly post updates there. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.